Hey, welcome back students. What I want to talk to you today about is uh, this concept of formula mass. And so let's begin by just writing this down. Let's go ahead and write this down here. This is called formula mass. And if we break these things apart, we've got mass over here and we've got the simple word of formula. And so let's kind of look at these two words and kind of try to make sense of it. Now, if you had no idea what this was, you would do this process here, break up the words. And when, whenever we look at mass, what we're really talking about here in general terms is going to be something associated with a weight. And whenever we talk about the formula, what we're referring to here is going to be something like H2O or HCl or MgOH2. And so this is going to be some kind of formula that describes the compound. And so we're really referring to here is the compound formula. And so when we put these together then, the formula mass is nothing more than the mass of each of the atoms in a formula compound, or in, in the mass of each of the atoms in a compound formula. And so let's kind of look at this over here on the right side. Let's say that we have something like this. So let's look at this example here like H2O. And so here the formula mass for this particular compound is going to be based on the fact if we go ahead and break this up, we've got a hydrogen atom here and we've got an oxygen atom, but notice that the hydrogen atom has two of them. So essentially the formula mass for this particular compound would be if we take two times the mass of hydrogen. In this case, if we go look this up on the periodic table, the mass is 1.008 grams per mole for the hydrogen. And then the oxygen mass here is going to be 15.999. And so if we add these two together here, we'll come up with a very specific mass. And so let's go ahead and look at that there. Two, we're going to go ahead and distribute in two times the 1.008. This will give you 2.016 grams plus the 15.999. If we add these two together, we're going to end up with the following mass. Okay, and that mass is going to be 18.015 grams for H2O. So this number here at the very bottom this number here is your formula mass. All right, and so we would do that like that. Now let me go ahead and do another problem for you and we'll continue looking at this so that we can continue to see how we're actually going about calculating this. So let me clear off the board and we'll begin by from scratch. Okay, and so here we go. Let's go and get another one. Let's do the other example that I just mentioned in, in the problem here. What if we had the compound with the formula HCl? And then we'll do another one over here on the right, MgOH2. And so we're going to go ahead and do these molar masses, two separate compounds, just so you have something to look at here. And so we'll break this up here on the left, HCl, hydrochloric acid. We have one hydrogen, and then we're also going to have one chlorine. And so if we take the mass of the hydrogen, that is 1.008, and if we add that to the chlorine, the chlorine here is going to be 35.453. Now you want to go ahead and add these two together. And so when you do that, you're going to get the following number. You're going to get 36.461 grams of HCl. This here is your molar mass for this particular compound. Let's go ahead and do the one on the right here with MgOH or magnesium hydroxide. And so let me go ahead and use yellow for this one here. And here we're going to bring the magnesium. There's only one magnesium. But in the hydroxide, notice the little two over here. That little hot two tells me that I've got two of whatever is inside the parentheses, which means I'm going to have one hydroxide copy, two hydroxide copies. And so let's kind of do these separately here. The mass of magnesium, if I go look this up on the periodic table, is going to be the following. It's going to be 24.305 grams. And then if we take these separately here, split this off, notice we're going to have here two of oxygen plus two of hydrogen. And so I'm going to write it like this only because eventually I'm going to have to add them all up together. And it's a lot easier to look at this problem and separate them out like this so that we can actually add them up. And so the magnesium stays the same, but now I'm going to go ahead and add two times the mass of oxygen. In this case, it's going to be 15.999. And I'm going to add that to two times the mass of hydrogen, which is 1.008. And so I go ahead and add those up together. Let's go ahead and bring down the magnesium just so we can be consistent here. Okay, and so if we look at the oxygen here, the mass here is going to be the following. Let's go ahead and add that up. 15.999 times 2 gives us a mass of 
31.998 and we're going to go ahead and add that to 2.016 over here and then we're going to add that to 24.305. Now we're in a position where we need to add all of these three and these three are going to give us the molar mass that we want and if we do that we get a total molar mass for magnesium hydroxide of the following and that number is 58.319 and this is going to be grams of MgOH2 and so this one here is the molar mass for that compound there and so essentially when you go through these types of examples and they're asking you to calculate the formula mass all they're really trying to get you to do is to get the mass of all the atoms in the compound notice that I am not considering or didn't mention anything in these problems about the coefficient and simply it's because we're only taking the mass of one copy of the compound nothing else so go ahead and review the video if you need to one more time and if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you at the next lesson